Hi, I'm Anelka. I'm a 16-year-old school pupil from Aberdeen. I know I want to be an engineer and Wood Group has given me work experience to see what my future could look like. It's made me realise that this is the career for me, but I'm in the minority. Did you know that the UK currently has the lowest number of female engineers in comparison to the rest of Europe? Only 7% of UK engineering professionals are women. Typically, girls like me rule out engineering as a career option at age 14. People think it involves cars, construction, hard hats, and it's just for guys. I'm ready to buck the trend and show what it really means to be a woman in engineering. I know some people who are already doing that and I have some questions for them. So why engineering? I chose engineering because I come from a family that's very practical. There was a lot of cars and trucks and talk growing up and I was out there with my brothers and I also liked chemistry so I combined that love of being practical with chemistry and it's been a good choice. I think engineers can solve a lot of real life problems and if you become an engineer to me you will be able to make a difference to other people's lives and the options for you are really endless. What do you like about it? What I enjoy most about my job is just the diversity of what you do, where you're working, what you're working on, what hours you work and who you're working with. What I enjoy about the job is the problem solving. Every day is different. We come in, it's like solving a puzzle every day. I also enjoy dealing with all the people because we have people from a variety of different backgrounds and just that diversity is, it makes it really exciting every day. So what do you think the perception of engineering is? I think there's a common perception of, of engineers as being a bunch of geeks, a bit of big bang theory, but I would like to say that we aren't all like that. We are problem solvers and when we do see a problem we just have the urge to want to fix it, to make things work efficiently and smoothly. For many people, um, including my mother, you know, sometimes they think that if you become an engineer you will become a mechanic and really it's quite far from that. Definitely many people think that it's something perhaps for boys to do and I think that's totally not true. I mean my sister said to me, oh Laura you must get so frustrated you know at school you loved art and you loved design and you're really creative and you're stuck in a sort of engineering job. And I was like no, it's not, it's not, it's not what you think it is, it's, it's more creative and it's, it's creative thinking like every single day you have to really think out the box sometimes. And what do you think women bring to engineering? I think engineering is something where you need to be able to solve problems and to do that you need to know a lot about physics and you need to know maths and be able to solve problems and show initiative, use some critical thinking and I don't think these are attributes that only belong to men. I think women bring to engineering the exact same qualities as men do, um, so why shouldn't we do it really? Um, we're, we're enthusiastic, we're really hard working and I think we ask a lot of questions which need to be asked. I think the most important part of being an engineer is, is questioning everything. Um, is this the best option? Is this the best design? Well that's interesting. Tell me about your journey so far. Well, I graduated from chemical engineering in the U.S. in 1985 and I was the first female engineering student to come out of my high school. From there, I was able to work in many different industries in pharmaceutical, petrochemicals, chemicals and now in oil and gas. It's also allowed me to journey from the U.S. and go to the Netherlands to work on projects and from there I ended up here in Scotland. At university, I studied chemical engineering um, at the University of Strathclyde and um, my degree was quite a challenging one but it was really enjoyable, um, it was really rewarding and throughout the end of the degree programme um, I had to decide kind of what industry I wanted to get into and what I wanted to do and you know looking at the modules I'd done I always really enjoyed the more design based ones, the more creative ones and um, that's kind of when I looked at Wood Group and I kind of looked at the sort of roles that they have and the, the work that they do and it, it just suited, it ticked all the boxes for me. It was challenging, problem solving, involved design, um, getting to know your standards. And yeah, so I approached them at careers fairs and um, was given a lot of advice, spoke to some of the graduates who were already on the scheme. Um, and it just seemed like the right one for me. You got a lot of support um, and it was directed about um, developing yourself. 
I applied for the role and I, I was successful and it was a great day for me. And how has Wood Group supported your career? Well I arrived in Scotland to work for Wood Group in 2006 as a senior engineer and I found that Wood Group has given me the confidence and support to realise that I can actually move up in my career and still manage my family uh, responsibilities. I'm a single parent with two daughters and that's always been my worry that I wouldn't be able to combine the two and Wood Group has really just given me the confidence and support to show me that I can. Um, my graduate scheme at Wood Group, it's a four year scheme and we do lots of different training courses and it's a lot of on the job learning, a lot of on the job learning um, and integrating with all different disciplines and working all sorts of different projects, um, all sort of good challenge and oil and gas related projects and that really enhances your learning. Well Wood Group has been very supportive of me in my career path. I wanted to get into the oil and gas industry and they were offering this conversion scheme that allows you to go in, people know that you don't know anything and they train you up and since that conversion scheme there's been a lot of support with people knowing that you need a little bit of advice here and there and need to know a bit more of the, the technical aspects. And tell me about your hopes for your future. The future for me, I, I don't really know where I'm going to be and that's what I quite like, that I've done a lot of sidestepping as well as moving up the ladder and I definitely want that to continue. I don't, I want to certainly move up and become say a project manager but I don't know where that's going to be. If it is going to be in the UK, if it's going to be abroad, I'd certainly like to go abroad and there's definitely the opportunities there. But I like the idea that who knows what can happen. In the future I'd like to, to sort of progress into sort of maybe more of a leadership role. Um, I feel like throughout my graduate scheme I've had so much support and it continues as I go on. I'd love to be in a position where I could have the knowledge and be able to help other people develop. I'm hoping to graduate from Robert Gordon University and hopefully along the lines become a chartered engineer. I'm hoping once I graduate I will be able to discover different fields and see which one suits me best. Well, I'm quite far on in my career and I just hope that I can keep my work interesting every day to work with lots of interesting new people. What would you say to a girl like me who's keen to be an engineer? If you're interested in science, if you're interested in maths and you want to make a difference and you want to have a great opportunity ahead of you then I think it's a really good option. Um, and don't let anyone tell you you can't do it because you can. You can, put, you can do whatever you want and if you think it will make you happy then you should definitely go for it. I would support any young girl to get into engineering because it's provided me an opportunity to travel the world. It's given me an interesting job where every day is different and it's also, to be quite honest, it's a well-paying career and it's allowed me to raise two daughters on my own and also given me the flexibility to do that. I think if you're considering a career in engineering then it's really important to work hard and just make sure you don't let anybody put you off because it's not easy but it's definitely one of the most satisfying careers I think out there. They're inspiring aren't they? I hope I will be too.